things of people who look like they're wearing things that don't belong in this century, or even the latest century past. I've seen phantom furniture. I've seen photographs taken with a wingback chair, though, if you look around, no wingback chair exists in this room. Also, when ladies stand in front of this mantle piece right here, they tell us that strange things happen. Their clothes get tugged at. Their hair can be swatted. And so is there anybody in the list? We're here a little. Is there anybody here with us? If so, please be known. <laughs> No. Huh? I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. But I almost started crying that when that person was screaming. Okay. Yeah, no, that was horrible. That made me sick in my stomach. No, somebody could do that to somebody. question that everybody kind of likes to ask on all the tours, or a statement rather, is, wow, this does not seem like that far of a fall. Well, above our heads there's a balcony just like this one, and it was from between the wall on my left and this pillar right here on my right, right above our heads, that she fell from, meeting her end hopefully instantly on the ground below. Capturing, ca sometimes, People will capture on photo a woman in a black dress walking around the courtyard. If you notice to the left of the door of the carriage house where that railing is, it goes down into the ground. Now, they didn't always know that, that area existed when they were taking the dress shop out of where the courtyard is. So basements in Savannah, when they had fireplaces, that means they were used for the cooking and the laundry purposes of the home. That's what made a mansion a mansion. You didn't have to go somewhere else to do it, because many of the squares had sort of community ovens brick kilns that people could bring their food to and then take it back home again if they weren't so lucky as to have facilities in their own homes. The floors you are standing on, these bricks, they're not original to the basement. They are original to the home, just a different area. The original floor would have been like slate, much like the sidewalk outside. Now, you all may have noticed that's very difficult to walk on. So the dress shop owners decided to uh, pour some concrete over the slate to have a nice even surface for the customers to walk upon. In the restoration process, they wanted to replace the slate, well, replace the concrete, rather, but it ruined the slate underneath, so they took it all up and they exposed the dirt below our feet, in which they found many artifacts like musket balls, cannonballs, bayonet parts, pieces of soldiers' uniforms, uh, namely British soldiers' uniforms, and in fact they also found human remains underneath our feet. If you all recall my story from the green room, you recall the reason being for these dead bodies of likely British soldiers, the fact that Antoine Sorel and some of his men and others were firing cannonballs at the wall that quite literally stood where we are standing right now. So that goes to say that some EVP Go take a picture of that corner. I'm recording in this corner. Hold on. So the 
way the structure would have worked. <laughs> out of your hair when they come to visit. Um, so, the person who did all of this was a carpenter by the name of Chris, who was working on the main part of the house as well. He was staying up here in this carriage house. Um, he was the last person to spend the night up here. He had his bedroom in Molly's room, and he told us about very strange things that would happen. Like, in the middle of the night, he had a pull chain lamp that would turn on and off for no reason. He would wake up in the mornings and shoes that he had just left scattered about the place would be a nice Sit the chair in the heater. Got me. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, he can stay here <laughs> for my part. He can just stay here. Right? Oh my god. Completely hot. I am freaking That's weird. I feel heat right here. You feel heat too? I feel heat right here. I do too. Oh my god. Like I'm not cold, my hands are sweaty. Oh, I do! Mine's still not going off. I feel heat right here though. Oh, Come to this one. This one's book. Okay. 